One of the major things the EV crowd fails to realise is just how much raw material is required to make a lithium-ion EV battery. For a 500 kilogram battery, you need to shift about 400 times that amount, or 200,000 kilograms, in soil and ore to produce the raw materials. That's all for just one single solitary EV battery. And all that mining is done using fossil fuels, of course, but that's another story. So recycling of used batteries will be essential if this crazy plan is ever going to get close to working, and that's extremely difficult. It's not like unbolting an engine and melting down the components in a furnace. No, batteries are a complex mixture of metals, chemicals and plastics, making the recycling process equally complex. And one of the major risks in all of this is fire, because lithium batteries are, by their very nature, highly energised and unstable, and physical damage can cause a battery to overheat and catch fire in a process known as thermal runaway, which is extremely difficult to stop. And this is exactly what's happened at a recycling plant in Scotland with devastating consequences. This may be a vision of the future when thousands upon thousands of EV batteries are being recycled every week. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter X. As a quick reminder, a lithium-ion battery weighing about 1,000 pounds or 500 kilograms typically requires about 25 pounds of lithium, 30 pounds of cobalt, 60 pounds of nickel, 110 pounds of graphite, 90 pounds of copper, about 400 pounds of steel, aluminium and plastics. By the time you account for the extremely low yield from the various ores and brines, which range from 10% for graphite down to 0.1% for lithium and cobalt, you need to mine about 90,000 pounds or 40 metric tons of ore and brine. And to access that ore requires shifting another 500,000 pounds, 200 metric tons of topsoil to get to it. Not only are they extremely energy intensive to manufacture, they're energy intensive to recycle and very tricky as well, as this factory in Scotland has found out. Firefighters battle battery recycling plant blaze for second night. More than 32 hours after the blaze erupted, firefighters remain at the scene as residents say it sounded like a terror attack. Firefighters are still battling a large blaze at a battery recycling plant in North Ayrshire more than 32 hours after it erupted. Two crews and one aerial appliance remain at the Phoenix Battery Recycling on Byhill Place in Kilwinning after being called to the area on Monday night. It's a bit ironic it's called Phoenix because that's from the bird, the phoenix, which rises from the ashes. Hundreds of residents were forced to leave their homes after the surrounding area was evacuated as flames engulfed the recycling centre and firefighters battled the blaze through the night. Videos show large plumes of smoke billowing out of the factory in the middle of the night. Loud banging noises were heard by residents who said it sounded like a terror attack while material inside exploded. The banging was heard from as far as the neighbouring towns of Irvine and Stevenson. Shelley Smith told STV News, We were woken up by loud bangs which we thought were fireworks and then family calling asking if we were okay as they could see the flames and smoke and were worried it was our house. Here's some of the video of the fire from STV which as you can see looks like a fireworks factory has gone up. And all that smoke being released is highly toxic and carcinogenic. It's not just ordinary smoke you'd get from a regular fire. It's full of really nasty chemicals which can cause serious damage to health. It's no wonder residents were told to stay inside with doors and windows closed. Unfortunately, there isn't much that can be done to reduce this threat of fire with battery recycling. As the lithium-ion chemistry is so unstable that even small impacts to a battery can cause it to go into thermal runaway. But anyone that tells you that EVs are somehow cleaner and greener than internal combustion engine cars has never seen either the fossil-fueled mineral extraction or the toxic mess when the batteries are recycled. Environmentally friendly, they most certainly are not.